Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading. Today we're going to ask Spirit for some messages from my DM to my DF, my Divine Masculine to my Divine Feminine. This is for all signs and any sign of the person that you're thinking of. So we want to know what is my Divine Masculine thinking? What do they have to say? What is it that we need to hear today? So welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody new. Spirit, if you can please share with me my divine masculine energy to my divine feminine energy today. What is it that we need to hear? What are the messages that need to be uh, sent? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have empathy. Lead passionately with your heart. Okay. Almost a little bit of a put yourself in my shoes. You know, think about what I'm going through. Um, we're connected. I feel what you feel. Okay. Um, so I, I feel like there's an understanding. I feel like this person wants you to know that they are trying to understand what you're going through on a daily basis, something along those lines. I have unlock, open the door to endless possibilities. You've unlocked this person's heart. You've unlocked their I guess their desire to fight, I'm going to say it that way, you have opened them up, um, something along the, those lines, um, that they're not the same person that they used to be because of you. So that's beautiful. Let's see what else they're saying. Conquest, bridge the gap with very small steps. That's coming into me as they want to let you know that we're going to get to where we need to be one step at a time. So this person is working towards the goals that you guys are talking about, whether it's we're saving money, I want to have a future together, we'll be married one day, but they want you to know that they are very much in tune with what it is that you want, and they're taking it literally one day at a time, one step at a time, and they're trying to achieve it. I feel like they're trying to achieve it for themselves, and they're trying to achieve it for the relationship also, so that's beautiful. I have affection. Stay uni uni unified in the dance of love. So there's great affection here. I don't want to dance with anybody else. I don't want to make love to anybody else. I don't want to be with anybody else. And they're even saying bottom of the deck dance, keep the romance alive. Like I just want to have you in my arms. I want to hold you. I want to keep this passion alive. Okay. So I have no doubt in my mind that the person that you're thinking of is equally in love with you. They're saying we just have to do it in stages. There's something about breaking it down into smaller parts, um, making things happen, whether it's logistics or overcoming some obstacles, something like that. Let's see what the cards are saying. Welcome back, everybody. If you're new to my channel and you've just been guided here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your comments, everybody. Spirit, please share with me. Things are opening up. This sense of, I don't want to dance with anybody else. I love that um, feeling. I have a king of pentacles. I have a three of swords. I have a hermit. And I have a knight of wands. So your person has some fear. Your person has some fear of losing you. You could be the one that gets away. You could be the one that could break their heart. You could be the one, I don't want to go back to being alone. I worry about, you know, if anything happened to us, what would happen? Because I really feel like this person has, has committed to this connection. And I do feel like they are full steam ahead with, I'm so in love with you and almost this feeling of they want to give you the world um, and I'm doing the best that I can, I'm, you know, whether it's I'm working, I'm working two jobs, I'm trying to start a business, I am um, putting myself out there, Spirit just said. So I feel like this person wants to give you the world and there's something um, about that, you know, this, and they, maybe they said that to you, um, like we can have it all, we, we can have it all, but we don't have it all yet. Like we're not there yet. We, we you know, give this a chance, give this time. Um, I'm doing the best I can, those kinds of energies. But underneath it all, I do have some fear of I, 
I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you and I don't want you to hurt me. So, you know, it could be a trust issue. It could be, I'm just so in love with you. I, I just don't want um, this to go away. And that happens often. I have a death card. So there's the fear of a change. There's a fear of, I, I'm really kind of, you know, worried about losing you. So we want to make sure that one of us is, is wants to be, you're both on the same page and you both want the same things. There's a little bit of a feeling of, I feel you pulling me, I feel you pulling away coming in. Maybe that's where the fear is coming from. And I, I need to talk to you about either, I have to share with you, um, you know, what I'm thinking about our future or where we're headed. And maybe you won't be pulling away. Sometimes we pull away when we don't feel um, that we know what, what's going on in a connection and where we need to feel more concrete. We need to feel more secure. And I do feel like your person is feeling that pulling away a little bit. Um, and they, they do want to give you the world and they don't want to see you pull away. So in order to do that, I feel like they're going to have to step up and be a little bit more open with either a timeline that they have in mind for the next stage of this connection or what their next action is in this connection, something like that, because otherwise you feel like you're in limbo and you're waiting and nobody likes to know where they're not head, you know, like you want to know where you're headed. Um, so I feel like this person is sensing that unless they step forward and you guys are on the same page with where we're headed and what we need to do to get there, uh, you are going to continue to pull away because you don't know where you stand. And that's very difficult. The dust settles. I don't, period. Okay. Stagnant, stuck, repetitive habits. Yeah. You feel stuck. You know, if you feel like you're not moving forward, if you feel like, you know, there's something going on in this connection that, um, you know, like they're not saying what their next move is or where, what, what, what we're going to do next. We're going to live together. We're going to get engaged. We're going to, you know, where are we headed? Um, it, it's, it's just a feeling of I feel stuck and until somebody gets so bored that they move on. But they're going to have to uh, open up to this. Embrace your space. Happiness begins now. Each moment is a gift. Engage in mindfulness and stay in the present. How do you feel in the present with this person? Is this person treating you right? Like, I feel like this person has a tendency to stay. I'm really happy right now with what we have. Okay. And that's great. And I want that. But there is a, there is a part of everybody that at least needs to know kind of what are we thinking about the future? So the person who says, I can't think that far ahead. I don't know what the future will bring. I feel like it's just kind of, you know, non-committal in the sense of I, I can't commit yet. And that could be hurtful and painful for you and causing you to pull back. Spirit, share with me my divine uh, masculine's energy. Is, are they moving forward? The universe is your home girl. Hey, girl, believe, calibrate, align, ask for the signs, affirmations, a sense of consistency that's coming into your life. So keep believing that, you know, you are in alignment. And if this person's in your life and on your path right now, that that's part of your path and your journey. I do believe that this person feels like you are meant to be in their life. I will say that. I will say that um, they enjoy you being in their life, Spirit just said. They want you in their life, and they're not thinking anything other than, um, I, I want to figure this out. I want to make you happy somehow. It's a process. There's emotions. There's ebb and flow. Identify your hurt and release it. So if you feel like this person keeps disappointing you in some way, I feel like this person's trying to take it literally like, one step at a time. Like, how do we get to where we need to be? Um, and I feel like they struggle with that at times. Like they can't give you what they want to give you. Either they need to save or they need to be in a better place. Um, so they struggle with, I, I want to give you more, but I can't right now. And I'm doing the best I can to try to give you more is really the overall energy I'm feeling today. Let's see what I have. I see things that remind me of you everywhere I go. So I'm going to say that you're on their mind. I'm going to say that they're constantly thinking of you. 
there you go. When I look in, in your eyes, I see my future. So that is really encouraging, right? Because we want the person who says, I, I have a, I, I have no doubt we're going to have a future together. I love what we have right now. And the future is going to be here before you know it. Let's get through some of these things we have to get through. And then when the time is right, we'll take it to the next level. We'll take it to where we want to be. Something like that. I do love you so much. I, I, you know, sometimes we have to hear that, right? I mean, it sounds so simple, but, you know, come forward and just let me know that, I see a future with you is really what I feel like you need to hear. You need to hear from your divine masculine today that they aren't going anywhere or that they want what you want. Something along those lines. Tell me more spirit. I am ready for our future. So it's, you can see like it's getting better. It's getting more positive. It's, it's a sense of, I can see us together and I see what you see. We're just not there, you know, and give this time. So whatever obstacles you guys are trying to get through logistics, you know, everybody has a timeline, you know, in their mind of, you know, whether it's, you know, depending on how old you are, you know, I want to finish my higher education. So I want to save for a house. I want to be in my own house before I, I commit to somebody. I want to live on my own for a few years. I want years between a divorce or relationships before I commit again. Like everybody has kind of a timeline of what works for them. So your person could have some kind of timeline. There's a telepathy between our hearts. So this is a very intuitive connection. I feel very in tune to you. I can feel you. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're feeling. Very empathic connection they had shared already. Please be patient with me. I need more time. But I also feel like they're not going anywhere. It has to, it doesn't have anything to do with like I'm coming back or returning or anything like that. It's more of a, you know, like let's just keep doing what we're doing and let's just keep letting this unfold. So I think that's really important to know. I can't wait to fall asleep in your arms. So if the next step is that we live together or that we're together every day, um, they want the same thing that you want it is how it's coming into me today. So I'm going to put this out into the universe because I, I feel like they do want to give you the world and I do feel like they want the same thing that you want. So let's ask spirit to continue to guide you both. I want to thank spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for all your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, I'll put my website link below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.